Hey everybody, Rick over at Building Controls Group. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, today's tech tip is going to be short, but it is frequently requested by our customers. So um, today's tech tip is going to be resetting a JS to factory using the reset button or the backup button on the JS. Um, again, pretty simple, straightforward, but we're going to take you guys through every step of the way. So let's get started. Um, tools you're going to need for this job, pretty straightforward, is a USB to micro USB cable. This can be found Amazon, uh, wherever. Um, I picked a little bit longer one for myself here. It's about 15 feet, and it's great for if you're working in a panel or somewhere where it's hard to get to the chase and you need a little bit of room to get to your laptop. So um, what we need to do is we're going to plug this into our JSON. and I'm going to take you guys and swing you around here. We're going to open up my JSON. And every JS 8000, regardless of brand, is going to have this micro USB. So we're going to go ahead and plug this guy in. And we're going to take this and run it to my laptop here. And I just got to plug it into the USB port like so. And I'm going to flip you guys back for just a second. And we're going to shrink my screen here. And we're going to open up Harbor Manager. So as long as you've got your drivers and everything installed, you'll see it pop up in your device manager. So it's so usually under common LTP ports. So expand that and you can see my JS under uh, COM5. Um, if it's not installed, you'll see a little uh, yellow triangle, meaning there might be a driver issue or something like that. But Windows 7, Windows 10 typically doesn't have these problems. So we know that the JS is, uh, we know that the JS is on COM5. Um, and you don't have to have this plugged in to power when you're doing this, um, it will actually show up as a device, even though there's no power going to it. So um, just a tip there. So now that we know that, we're going to use a program called Putty. Um, and there are, it, it is just a serial shell program. Um, if you're familiar with those, Putty is just the one I go to because it's free and easy to download. Um, but there are other ones. If you have a preference, uh, you're welcome to use those just as long as you can serial shell in through a uh, COM port. So I'm going to open up Putty. And for all the JS 8000s, it's going to be under serial. And remember, we saw COM5 in our device manager, so we'll put that in. And 115.200 is always our baud rate, regardless of brand or JS, as long as it's a JS 8000. So we're going to hit open. And you see we got a blank screen here, which is what we want. And I am going to make myself big here for a second, because I'm going to flip you guys around one more time. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to plug the JSON into power and then hold that backup button. And as you can see on the side of my screen there, we started seeing an output on the console or on PuTTY. And we're going to keep holding this button down for a little bit. Because we're going to wait for a message here. And see right there. So we will release this button when it tells you to. That's the message we're looking for. And it's going to count down like it's doing right now. So I'm going to flip you guys back around because that is all we have to do with the JS side of it. So what this is going to do now is it's going to install the clean distribution that was on the factory um, SD card that's in the JS. So um, a few things to note here. This is going to completely wipe your JS. So um, IPs, station, the whole thing's going to go away. Basically wipe this thing to when it was in the box from the factory. So be aware of that if um, you need to back that stuff up if you can. You know, most of the time we're resetting these JS is because something, something catastrophic has happened to the point to where we can't get in through Workbench normally. Um, and that's uh, what's happened here. So one thing I always get messed up on See where it says reset system? I always, for whatever reason, expect this to just magically happen on its own. What this is actually telling you to do is unplug the JS and plug it back in. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm unplugging the JS and I'm plugging it back in. So now at this point, it's going to go through the 
uh, cleaning process, install that new clean distribution, and we'll just wipe this thing clean. So um, at a certain point, basically, it will start up the Niagara service and everything so you can get back in through Workbench and um, recommission your JSON, put your station back on, or whatever it is you're intending on doing. So, um, and I will let you know when we get there, because basically this, this process takes about five, 10 minutes. So um, definitely one of those things you just got to sit back and relax and uh, maybe get a cup of coffee or something like that. So we are basically at the point where it's almost done doing its thing. Um, you can see it has wiped my JACE back to its factory credentials of, you know, 192, 168, that one, that 140 is typically Vicon and some other brands. Uh, if it's a uh, Johnson FX80, it's going to be 149 instead of 140. So um, you can see I'm back on the logon screen. But again, um, this is not completely started back up. This takes about five, 10 minutes, but um, you will uh, be able to get in through your factory credentials because it will go back to those. Um, Tritium Niagara for your Vicon Jace and, you know, uh, JCI and Explorer for your um, FX80s. But that's about it. Um, so basically we're at a point where we could log in with Workbench, get in the council, go to our commissioning wizard, uh, do what we need to do and um, basically get your Jace back up and running. Um, and that's about all I got today. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, as always, check out our website, buildingcontrolsgroup.com. A lot of good product um, and uh, resources for, for you guys out there. Uh, you know, we're Vicon Johnson uh, and a lot of other great products out there. So uh, we, we thank you guys for watching this video.